Right, so I want to be working with uh, this image, and I want to make this image um, difficult to uh, difficult to copy. Oh, I don't want people to be able to steal this image when I put this uh, on the internet in my photo gallery. So um, yeah, I'm going to add a watermark, and to do this, we are we're basically just going to write onto our image. But uh, to make it more efficient, what we're going to do is we're going to use an actions. Uh, menu here, and uh, this is very useful because you can just with a click of a button you can press play, and it does everything you want it to do, everything you tell it to do. It essentially just copies what you've done. So we're going to start off. We're going to click in uh, to create a new set, and we're going to call this set water color. Water color. No, it's a good song there. Uh, watermark. Um, yeah, and then in this one we're going to press the new actions menu. I like the new layer stuff and the new swatch and everything, but the actions, and we're going to call it watermark. I know I'm original, but yeah, sue me. I'm going to give it a nice red color and a function key of. Well, actually, I don't want to give it a function key. Um, I'll just press play. Right, so for everything that we do from now on, this is going to remember it, and um, it's essentially, yeah, it's going to copy us. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, the text tool, click on the thing, and um, I want to uh, use a copyright symbol, and this symbol is going to be... Um, that but the problem is um, I, I pasted this in uh, on my key I don't have I've been working with a, uh, a laptop keyboard and I'm not quite sure how to uh, input this kind of text uh, symbol I know that if you're on a large keyboard you know with all the funny number buttons on the side uh, it's alt 0169 and you get that symbol up um, I'm not sure if this is going to work if I cop just paste something in, but we'll give it a go. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in the name. And so this is going to make it uh, inherently hard for someone to uh, you know, copy my work. But on the other hand, it detracts from the image quite a bit. Honestly, all, all I can see is the name. And uh, it looks a bit... Nah. Um, on a side, you, you know, you use any font you like. I uh, I chose to use Impact. Uh, it's quite big. It impacts quite a bit on the picture, I suppose. And uh, oh yeah, that's why I used it. But uh, but to make it less um, less uh, what's it called? Imposing. We're going to use uh, some blending options. We're going to choose a different fill and opacity. So what I'm going to do is going to go to drop shadow, and I'm going to uh, increase the spread a bit and increase the size, just to make it look somewhat decent in the image, a bit more professional. And I'm going to add a simple bevel and emboss, and I'm just going to keep all the settings the same, and I'm going to add contour. I know this is very lazy, but if you want, you know, change uh, change the settings to suit what you need. I don't need it to be, I don't want it to be too uh, fancy, so a simple bevel in the boss uh, is the uh, way forward. And I'm just trying to find out here where it looks best on my image. Uh, that's too easy. To, I'm liking it in the corner. Oh, we'll force in a bit. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to, um, we're going to change the opacity about, I'm going to take the opacity down to about, 80 and we're going to take the opacity down to about the fill even down to about 20 and now you can see it's uh, it looks good it fits into my image quite nicely you can see you can still see it but it doesn't detract from the image too much and uh, that's great now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a uh, press stop and uh, 
this essentially saves my watermark thing. So I can uh, pull that up now, move this about, it doesn't matter, I'm not recording it on this. So what happens if I delete this? Hopefully this works. And play. Oh god. Ah, there. Right. You see? It, it, yeah, it does it for me. That's brilliant. So I can show you one more time. Delete. Go into your watermarks. Click the first one. Hit play. It just appears. This is a real time saver. Uh, works well, looks good. If you uh, thought this was useful, thumbs it up. If you uh, have a question or you would like to request a different video, leave a comment, PM me. Um, if you like my video, subscribe. And uh, as a side note, this is going to be a small series where I'm going to basically update my website, create a website for you guys, to, uh, step by step, how I go about it. It's going to be a very simple one, and um, yeah, if you, you're new to Dreamweaver, Photoshop, I might add some fireworks in there, Flash, definitely, to get my galleries up. This is um, what I'm going to be doing. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, rate, thumbs up, subscribe.